Hey, sorry about that, guys. We're back here. So, yeah, I guess we're shipwrecked. Uh, the water's actually quite nice here. You can see it's got the tide going in right there and then coming even back out. That's quite neat, actually. I haven't seen that in many other games. Although I haven't really paid attention to it until now. Uh, it wasn't quite evident. Okay, so we got our weapon. What do we got? Let's break some of these. Oh, okay, longbow arrows. That's kind of neat how the objects, I guess you can use, are highlighted in red. That's yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder if maybe these boxes should be in red as, uh, highlighted in red as well. Um, let's see. No, can't break the barrels. Okay. So we'll collect what we can. Uh, here's the next treasure chest in red. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Losing control there. Um, let's take a look around. Uh, there's a little hut there of some sort. So let's go up there. This is quite neat. The foliage as well is moving nicely with the wind. You can see now the wind kind of stopped and there's nothing actually happening. Like the foliage is dead. Okay, here we go. Hear the seagulls. And it is orientational, so as you turn your head, you can, I can hear it now in my left ear, and now in my right, if you have the surround sound set up. Oh, there we go, that's neat. I do enjoy that. And now the foliage is moving, so it's not constant movement. Okay, we have another treasure chest. Coins. I don't know how much value coins are, to be honest, but okay. I'd rather get maybe a, a bow and arrow or something along those lines. There we go. Let's see what's here off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, uh, a little bit red, this tree. Nothing here, though. Okay, let's go back on the path. Okay, let's take a look at our map. So... I guess this is where we crashed. The red circle must be where we currently are. And I'm assuming we just need to move all the way to there. Uh, just to the end. Up here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Is there a compass? Oh, cease for crouch, I guess. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a little freaky. Interesting. F. Note, I do not know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place as I am. That's interesting. Very open-ended. It doesn't tell us much. Uh, and it seems it's been done by the maiden in red you know she kind of looks like the lady um, from the load screen when it was initially loading uh, the same face there anyway investigations uh, sent me with an arrow okay well what we're gonna do is we'll just keep going and we'll keep an eye out I do like the way that the items of interest are red F for example is her uh, would have been hard to notice her otherwise oh. There's another treasure chest. What do we got? More, more coin. Um, you know, if I were stranded on an island somewhere, I'd really hope I'd get something other than just coins. Uh, you can't eat those or defend yourself with them. Oh, okay. What do we got here? We have... Looks like a bow. Dear sir and madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. As a token of my good faith, I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular customer. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Beware that they may sometimes deflect from armored enemies, so be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can. I will put my trust in your honor to leave payment for whatever for whatsoever else you choose to purchase. Oh, it's an honor system. It's a merchant here, so it's an honor system. That's quite interesting, though. So, one, it sounds like you'll be able to pick the arrows up again, kind of like in the game Thief, if you played that way back. Um, and also, uh, it's an interesting honor system where they'll just 
hope I leave money there. Okay, that's interesting. So let me let me close this. What do I have? I have my crack longbow. Can I change? How do I change weapons? Uh, let me see what else I can. I can shop. Damage 35. Longbow arrow. So I have 16 already. Health increases by 5%. Come four percent harder to see. Quiver accommodates twenty longbow arrows. Interesting. Can't purchase. I only got ninety-seven. I guess I'm on you. Well, there we go. I bought bon an arrow, bow and arrow of some sort. Let me see map. Nope. Let's go inventory. What do we got here? We got crack longbow. We got shoddy. Weapons, charms. Okay. Okay. We'll use the shoddy longbow. It's got slightly higher damage. You can see there at 35. Okay. A traveling merchant who barters weapons and equipment. Interesting. I do not know. Okay. Yeah. Same thing there. Okay. Mark all this red. Interesting. Here we go. Because your well being is important to me, both physically and sentimentally, <laughs> I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you catch them unaware. For the rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head will inflict more damage, essentially. And it's the same guy, the merchant. Interesting. Let's take a look up. There we are. Thought I heard someone. Uh oh. He's coming. Boom! Oh man. Ooh. Three shots to put him down. Okay. That was interesting. I guess I can get my longbow arrows back as well. So, what do we have for weapons? There's the pistol. There's my shoddy longbow. And there's my pistol. Interesting. Okay. It was pretty fast though. The AI seemed a little bit off when he stopped there. <laughs> it wasn't charging at me. But we'll, uh, we'll cut it some slack since it's the, just the first enemy. Okay. The weapons you recover from slain adversaries are generally of poor quality. I, the weapons I offer are guaranteed to do more harm and do it faster. Since you want to sell me stuff, okay. Okay, so here we are now at Fort Henry. Uh, very neat. I guess this is the loading loading screen. Um, there we go. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna pause this. And uh, we're gonna quit for a while, okay? And um, we'll come back a little bit later, maybe, as a continuation of the walkthrough.